going to do another brake comparison today with the 375 Shay Tech Improved. Um, shooting the 350 Grand SMKs at 3400 feet per second. I've got the T5 on there now, the T5 Terminator. Here's the T4 Terminator. Here's a Kiwi aftermarket brake. Here's a Kiwi aftermarket brake upside down with the vent holes facing down. Head of up. You can see from the last test that the holes up and down, it's obviously upsetting the rig, loading the rig up. You can see the difference between the holes being up and the holes being down with that last brake test. Anyway, here's an American aftermarket brake. Here's a DTA brake, the Desert Tech Factory 375 HDI brake. And here it is with no brake at all. So that's where they all ended up. As you can see, the results are similar with the 350s as they were with the 450s. It's much easier for the brakes to work with the 350. It's lots more gas and not as much weight to be pushing around. So there's a T5, the T4, the American aftermarket brake there, the Kiwi aftermarket brake with the vent holes. And the vent holes were upsetting the, upsetting the rig and pushing the barrel down or up, depending which way it was facing. You could also see the barrel vibrating as it went past me in the video, vibrating up and down. So there's a loaded round, and there's the dead brake there, and that's where it ended up. Cheers.